You're listening to the AOL Small Cap Show, powered by Agoracom.com, the web's leading small cap portal. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. My name is Al O'Grady, and with us today is the president and CEO of New Dawn Mining, Mr. Ian Saunders. New Dawn Mining is an up-and-coming gold exploration company with a number of interests in Zimbabwe and also South Africa. The company has three mines, two production facilities, and has a workforce of over 800 to take advantage of these opportunities. New Dawn Mining trades on the TSX under the symbol ND. That's N as in Nancy, D as in David. Mr. Saunders, welcome to the program. Hi, Al. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, Ian. Let's uh, jump right into this. First question, why Africa? And more specifically, why Zimbabwe and, and uh, South Africa? Well, I mean, the statistics of, of why Africa speak for themselves. Africa, uh, without uh, doubt, is the, the most, uh, shall I say, the largest uh, resource base that's untapped in, in, in all of the world. Uh, why Zimbabwe? Um, Zimbabwe is uh, historically a great place to, to have a mining company. Um, it's been a, a world-class producer of uh, platinum gold historically, not, not so in the recent past. Nickel, coal, copper. You know, it, it, at some point in time, more than 200 minerals are mined in Zimbabwe. And, and why Zimbabwe now is that, is that because of the political and social problems that Zimbabwe faced over the last uh, 8 to 10 years, Zimbabwe's missed out in the last cycle of, of exploration spend and new technology, and now uh, with with the imminent changes that we're seeing, that opportunity, which is arguably a decade behind, but therefore gives you a, dec- a decade extra, is going to manifest itself in in, in the valuations of, of companies and their opportunities that they face there. Okay, you touched on a very key point and that I know a lot of people will certainly be asking the question. That has to do with uh, political stability. And uh, obviously, from your uh, viewpoint, things have changed. What has changed to, to actually make this uh, much more favorable for an investment opportunity? Look, uh, Zimbabwe have just, uh, the two main political parties in Zimbabwe have just entered into a government of national unity. And we're, by, by Western standards, perhaps that's not ideal. Um, but what we find is it, it, it's going to become a working coalition. Um, it's a work in progress. It's, it's, it's changed in Zimbabwe. Um, the people have spoken last year. Um, President uh, Mugabe is now sworn in Prime Minister Sangarai. The new cabinet's in place. And we're starting already to see this new cabinet bring in a whole changing fiscal and monetary regime, um, reduce the influence of the Reserve Bank, which is, was considered by many to be a proponent of, of the inflation. And these changes are starting to manifest themselves, as I, as I said just now, into positive changes that are going to impact the business environment that we're facing. Okay, let's talk about uh, the projects now. Uh, let's get down to nitty-gritty. Uh, tell us about the projects that you have underway. Uh, tell us where you've been, where you are, and more importantly, where you're going. Okay, our main project is the Turk Mine in Zimbabwe. Um, it's an old historical producer, produced already you know, over 500,000 ounces and been in production uh, m- mostly uh, on, but a little bit off uh, of, over the last 80 to 100 years. Um, we have 1.3 million ounces of uh, independently audited reserve resource base. The potential of that uh, to increase that is probably at least double, and that's that's not our numbers. Those are numbers actually uh, specified in our 4301 report by SRK. We have uh, invested over 35 to $40 million of intercapital exploration over the last 10 years, and a recent sort of uh, exercise we did probably put that in in current market terms of over $100 million. So we have a great asset base in terms of reserve resource, great physical asset base in terms of mills, uh, installed infrastructure, hoist, etc. We've got the platform to grow the company with our TSX listing. And with the change environment in Zimbabwe, we actually made an announcement this morning that we've gone off our care remains onto a development mode. And as these positive changes start to manifest themselves into practical uh, implementation of, of such, we anticipate uh, in going into full production mode and then really starting to make those assets sweat. In the past, we, we produced uh, sort of 12, 13,000 ounces a year in fiscal year 2000 to 2007. 2008 was somewhat down on that because of the Zimbabwean problems, but whilst we had those Zimbabwean problems, we were significantly investing time and resources into our assets, and those assets are uh, capable of doing far more than that. 
We, we now envisage bumping up our workforce, re-engaging more people, and over the next uh, three to six months getting back to where we were 18 months ago and then building on that on a progressive fashion. Okay. Are you working more in Zimbabwe or, or South Africa? We work more mostly in Zimbabwe. Our, our principal assets are in Zimbabwe, although we do have a, a mine in South Africa, um, which is on one of the greenstone belts there. Um, the mine itself is should be hopefully shortly coming to production. We'll be making that production decision within, within the next three-month period. We basically have a, a fully installed and, and, and operational mine from a, from a functional technical perspective. Really, the, the difference between it being a project and it being operational now is just, just the final economics and final feasibility, which we're working on now. Okay. You had mentioned uh, earlier that uh, about an NI43-101 compliant uh, report. Obviously, uh, the engineers have done some work. Uh, you may or may not uh, know the numbers off the top of your head. Can you give us uh, an idea in terms of uh, confirmed, uh, inferred uh, uh, resource estimates? Yeah, we've got uh, 43101 compliant reports on on both of our, on all of our material properties. But as I said, the major resource base is the Turk mine. We have a 43101 compliant resource base of 970,000 ounces, um, which would would over 100,000 ounces of that in proven reserves. And we have uh, a compliant inferred mineral resource of about 356,000 ounces, um, giving a total reserve resource base at, at, at the Turk uh, Angeles mine of about 1.3 million ounces. Okay. What's the infrastructure like? Infrastructure in, in Zimbabwe in general is actually pretty good. Uh, we've got roads that come right to the mine, all of our mine sites and, and exploration properties we can get to with, uh, with norm, normal vehicles, you know, probably 11, 11 and a half months of the year. We have uh, water on site and we have uh, the, the main electrical power grid line going right past our, our operations. And so power is really available. Zimbabwe has been facing some challenges in terms of the availability of that power with the shortage of foreign currency. But we see that improving now as, as, as the new economic regime starts to uh, manifest itself. Okay, let's talk about uh, the company and its uh, and its books. What are your uh, what's your financial position like? Uh, cash on hand, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, uh, new, new Dawn is uh, very well structured at the moment. We did our IPO uh, late last year. We still got uh, around four million in the till, and that's certainly enough to to run the company in the next twelve to eighteen months. Um, we don't envisage having to raise any capital to run the general company and and to uh, implement our current business plan. But we're always looking for value accretive deals, the number of transactions we're looking at, and certainly we, we would come to the market uh, in, in a responsible fashion. Um, but certainly we wouldn't do a transaction that, that uh, depletes the value of our current shareholders. Um, we've got working capital of about $5 million, um, 29 million shares outstanding, no debt. So we think we, we're pretty well set up in, in this market to ride it out and, and to, to benefit benefit from any emerging acquisition opportunities that come across. Okay. What's uh, the workforce like? Um, we've got over eight, 800 employees at both mine sites. We have significant levels of, of all management skills at both Zimbabwe and South Africa, all locals, all very experienced, um, no expatriate staff that we have to worry about. Most people either live on site or, or are bus into the site each day, so we don't have a fly-in, fly-out policy. The, the workforce in Zimbabwe in particular is a very motivated, educated workforce and, 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 and extremely efficient. Okay. Uh, why don't you take this opportunity to uh, tell us about uh, the, uh, the management uh, within the company? Um, well, I'm the present CEO. I've been at the company um, nearly 13 years now. Um, Graham Clow is our CFO, uh, very well experienced, been in public companies for 25 years. Richard Buzz Busbian has uh, just joined us recently in our IRPR role, and he's starting to see some some good work being done there. Um, on site, uh, we've got a mine manager in Zimbabwe and all levels of departmental management from mill to engineering, and the same in, in South Africa. Our board um, is, is well-staffed, um, guys good experience, good knowledge, and, and, and quite a diverse range of skills. We don't have all accountants or all geologists or all lawyers, as many boards have. We almost have one guy taking a particular skill set, so we have a, a lot of different thought processes and patterns to go through, and, and we think it's a, it's a great team to, to take the company forward. Okay. Ian, that's it as far as the uh, formal questions are concerned, but uh, as always, I leave my guests with the last word. Uh, any final thoughts, anything uh, that you'd like to add right now? You know, I just think that uh, if the investors out there are looking for opportunity for a, a main board listed, gold-focused, Zimbabwean-focused play, there, there isn't a, a platform like this. We have great assets, good people, good management, and, and we really are going to benefit from the, the recovering Zimbabwe and the, the, the strong gold prices now. 
And I'd, I'd urge all investors to take this opportunity and invest in our company and be part of our growth. Okay. On that note, Ian, I want to thank you very much for your time and uh, sharing your thoughts with us about New Dawn Mining. Great. Thank you very much for your time, and have a good one. Okay. And New Dawn Mining trades on the TSX under the symbol ND. That's N as in Nancy, D as in David. And you've been listening to Ian Saunders, President and CEO of New Dawn Mining, on today's Small Cap Show, produced by Agoracom. I'm Al O'Grady. Thanks for joining us.